Cancer of the breast is amongst the most common cancers in women the world over. In India, one woman is diagnosed with breast cancer every four minutes and one woman dies of breast cancer every eight minutes. This is a cancer that affects not only the elderly, even young women in their 30s and 40s are often affected with breast cancer. So many of these young women are recently married. So many have small children. The diagnosis of breast cancer has a devastating effect on the mind. The thought of having to lose breast at surgery, the thought of having to lose your hair during chemotherapy, and of course the constant threat of death should the treatment not be successful is truly devastating. During the International Breast Cancer Awareness Month, it is important for us to know that much has changed in the scenario of breast cancer. Progress has been made on two major fronts in breast cancer. The first is, if the cancer is detected and treated at an early stage, more than 80 to 85 percent of the cancers of the women will be completely cured. Many will not need to have a mastectomy. The breast can be preserved. And if a mastectomy is necessary in an early stage, either because of the age of the patient or the location of the tumor being very close to the nipple, post-operative radiotherapy can be avoided. So often chemotherapy can be avoided. So all in all, the treatment of breast cancer at an early stage has become a much more easier treatment and a less expensive treatment with less hardship. The second important advance in the medical science in breast cancer is in its ability to detect the cancer at an early stage. This involves following a certain discipline. First of all, every woman, starting with age 30 at the latest, must examine herself once every month and learn to recognize four warning signals of breast cancer. Number one, is there any change in the shape of the nipple, the nipple getting retracted? Number two, is there a blood-stained nipple discharge? Number three, is there an ulceration of the nipple that is not responding to routine treatment by the skin specialist? And number four, of course, a lump in the breast, even if it is painless, particularly if it is painless. If any of these four warning signals is recognized, the woman must immediately seek medical attention. The second is, even without any warning signals, it is important to have an annual examination, an examination by the doctor once every year, starting age 35 or 40, even without any warning signals. The third is, relatively simple investigations of mammography, sonomammography and a direct needle aspiration biopsy or cytology. With this combination of self-breast examination and a routine breast examination by the doctor and these simple investigations as and when required, a large majority of the women can be diagnosed with breast cancer in the early stage. And if it is diagnosed in the early stage and treated in the early stage, very high cure rates can be achieved. Unfortunately, in real life, we do not see this happening, even though this scientific progress has been made. So often the woman delays seeking medical help, hoping and waiting for the lump to see if the lump is growing or is becoming painful, or waiting for other priorities in the family the husband is unwell and she wants him to recover before she seeks medical help 
or the son or the daughter has an important board exam and she does not want to upset them, so she will wait for those exams to get over and wait for months together. Or of course, they do not have enough financial resources because they have not got health insurance. It is important for us to know that while we wait and delay, cancer will not wait. Cancer will continue to grow and not only will it continue to grow, it will spread. Spread to the liver, spread to the lungs, spread to the bones, spread to the brain and become incurable. It is very important to not only detect the cancer early, but it must be treated early. And for that, we need to have adequate health insurance. We need to make sure that our women give adequate priority to their own health and not give second priority to their own health. If young boys and girls are listening to this, I urge them to make sure that their mothers give adequate priority to their own health. A healthy woman makes the whole household healthy and happy. Thank you very much.